Hi, this is Mark. In this video, I'm going to talk about insecurity and where I believe it, you know, stems from. Um, I kind of, you know, to start off, we we always notice there's a uh, contrast between, you know, certain objects, events, ideas, thoughts, revelations. Um, you know, where, where the position that you are relative to someone else. There's always a, some some form of contrast. So if you imagine you live in a world where, you know, everything is, um, it excludes everyone else and you're just, you're, you live in a, this solo world. It's all, you know, you have everything to yourself, no external outside influence. Well, in that situation, um, you understand obviously the contrast in terms of, you know, um, the external or like nature, you know, what it, what it brings to the table. And, um, but then when you start adding in, if you add, you know, any social influence now and you funnel in like a few individuals, you know, let's say now, you know, the world now you have a few individuals or let's say two, and then it splits and then it becomes four and it splits, you know, so it keeps splitting and it gets doubled each time. And you, you differentiate these different worlds. Well, you're going to, you know, eventually, initially, like you, you formulate groups, you know, we end up getting groups due to contrast differences. And basically, you know, it depends on the divergence of genetics, you know, like when, um, you know, the, with the distinctions of traits, you know, we create all these uh, cat categorizations or, you know, divisions or groups, and it kind of splits when the population becomes larger we build these distinctions or, you know, these, uh, but the problem now lies in the extremities, you know, if anything that is p your position relative to someone at the positive end, if you think of you, now you take like a, you can consider experience. You have a, it's on a spectrum or it's a range. You have a neutral axis, you have a positive, you have a negative axis. Now, if the problem to me and in, with insecurity lies with the attribute, attribute uh attributing or the problem with attributing any object or relation with a with a value or quantity to quantify it in some form or fashion you cannot quantify like this you know this value it does not exist and you don't want to do the, do so because uh that kind of creates that large it, quantify, you quantify now not only the distinction but it kind of like now you're comparing that position relative to the someone at the extreme end. But now I think with insecurity, the problem is these extremes are coming in, they're funneling in at higher frequency. So it's becoming almost like a, uh, we're having like overlap or all these, um, it's, it's, it's constantly bombarding like our, our life, you know, much more frequently than it weren't than before when we didn't have globalization. So now the position or the distance, the distinctions are becoming larger. You know, like we, of course, there's a distinction between black and white. It's a large contrast. But now, you know, this distance now is becoming much larger. And, and, and therefore, the insecurity, it's like we're put, if you consider insecurity as like dark and then, you know, security is white, you know, what we're doing is now we're witnessing, you know, more of the, you know, the, it's like, it's like the, everything's becoming brighter in terms of external factors and we're, we're associating our own life or circumstances with like a bleakness, whereas like, it's kind of like dark or grim, not necessarily, but there's a more pro higher propensity or probability of doing so just because the distance between these distinctions is larger and therefore it kind of creates this, uh, this, this it kind of fuels the insecurity and the problem. Yeah. I think it's just the, uh, key is just accept the uh, strengths and weaknesses. It's okay. Like I, I always find it's okay to, um, or, you know, when you're at least when, in, in, when you're self-aware, you know, like it, it, sometimes it's, um, you know, it's, it's like, it's, I think it's natural to beat yourself, you know, like natural trait to beat yourself down at sometimes, you know, and just kind of, uh, just because, you know, what is, <clears throat> But the thing is, is uh, I think it's very important to find, you know, just a domain, like an interest or a passion or something that you can, you know, excel or something that you can uh, um, leverage. And uh, because at the end of the day, uh, it all boils down 
where it boils down to how we, you know, build to get the satisfaction and with the figure that out, you know, and basically it's going to be proportional to the interest and the reward signaling due to these interests, how, how we progress, how, how the rate that we progress. And basically as long as if we eliminate that, the, it, we can't get rid of the contrast, but if we eliminate the attachment to the objects, attachment to these values or attachment to the, you know, all the quantification of, you know, these these uh, traits or this, you know, distinctions, if we can eliminate that, that will, you know, allow, kind of get rid of that fog or get, get rid of the darkness, get rid of the, uh, whatever's kind of like pulling or whatever's acting as a burden. Because, you know, at the end of the day, um, of course, you know, life, life is not, you know, going to be fair. And, and, and depending on the circumstances, or depending on situations, you just got to, um, uh, deal with the circumstances that are out there on the table if, you know you just play with what you can you know what you what you can you know and always there's always ways to we'll find you know solutions or you know find better ways of doing things or as long as i think with the optimism the optimism opens up the field whereas like pessimism closes the field that's what i believe like a consciousness when we think of consciousness optimism opens the field of consciousness where pessimism condenses it to a point Think of like consciousness as like a conical field. It's you know you you you, you don't want that negative energy to spiral counterclockwise towards a point. You want it to go the other direction and go outward. And basically, as long as you're con constantly open and you know always you know some degree of skeptical, be skeptical, but at least open. You know, and not not con not just because um, I think with pessimism and insecurity, it closes off things. It makes you kind of like more of the black and white domain. It just makes things like kind of collapse and you're not able to be open to the information. You're not, you're kind of just kind of living in your own distorted domain, depending on the severity of the, you know, the negativity. And um, to eradicate that, it's, 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 you got to kind of um, get rid of, or, um, get rid of the attachment of, you know, the external and not be so inclined to let the external world influence every single motion, you know, of your life and, and deter, you know, in so many different directions. So therefore you got to maintain, get some control over the life and focus on, you know, narrow in on, you know, what needs to be, you know, done, what needs to be, you know, the correct, because ultimately with, uh, we all have problems and issues, so they're, they're, you know we need to um, figure out ways to deal with these different you know issues. And insecurity is one of them. And for you know for me, I've realized this is kind of could be hard to deal with a lot of times. It's just during sometimes the mind gets twisted in a wrong direction, maybe biological problems, you know, and it could cause like these issues to you know recur and recur and you know takes a lot of energy, sucks the energy, saps the energy. Uh, but the, yeah, I just think like changing the mindset, at least getting the mindset in the positive prepares for the storm. If there ever is a storm, you know, think, you know, imagine like a vortex, you know, at least you can have somewhat control of depending on the positive mindset. Um, it kind of can, can kind of allow you to survive that situation or get through that situation with better uh, resist, more resistance um, or, at least bounce out stronger. And that's usually the key with a negative, you know, a negative can easily become translated into a positive, um, depending on how the mindset where it's centered. So yeah, that's just my take, you know, on insecurity, kind of how to deal with it, how to get rid of it, mitigate it. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.